Hey guys, so this kind of annoyed me for a bit trying to find this, uh, so I figured I would share how to import and export uh, markups. So you may want to do this if you're working on a set of drawings. Um, you know, for example, let's let's take this building. You know, we we've been doing work on it and we've um, maybe uh, applied some um, some notes that we've picked up in the field or whatever the case is, and we want to um, kind of assign those onto a a um, updated uh, set of drawings you may want to do this with the, the export and import of markups you you know you may also want to do this when you're working with um, uh, wanting you know like archiving all your exports um, you know if, you, if that's something you want to do uh, in case of uh, um, just kind of overlaying them on top and maybe applying different layers you know bringing them in onto one set of drawings and kind of doing a, a progression of, of what's been going on um, with uh, with this uh, building so to do that um, we'll go ahead and just place some markups so we'll, we'll uh, go to the markup uh, or the tool chest so over here we'll click on this button and um, I don't really care what it is so I'm just gonna grab this um, and we'll just start placing them in some generic areas of this building and there you go so we've got five uh, little circles that are kind of um, uh, numeric and they're, they're going up in count so we can see this one's the fifth. And um, we want to export this out. So to do that, we'll open up the markups list. So if um, generally it, this may be closed, so sometimes it isn't, sometimes it is, but if it is closed and you don't see these three dots, it's not a big deal. It essentially closes on the last tool that you've had out. So if we go to the, the JavaScript uh, panel and then click it, it'll close in. It kind of looks like that. So just ignore it and just click whatever's there. Um, also, to keep in mind, these can be dragged off. And for whatever the reason, if you have a uh, workspace that has been configured, let's say it's a, a company one that um, was deployed and it's the one that you now have to work with, they may have moved it over here as well. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're looking for this but with that open you can take a look at our the markups list and see a variety of um, uh, different I guess parameters associated with each markup um, so we can see the five that we just placed to export out these it's pretty easy we just select on this markups list button and then we come down here and we uh, import and export just real quick to let you know uh, some of the other functions we have a summary summary button over here and it essentially exports out a summary of the markups list and you can export out in a variety of formats I would have assumed that it would have been over here but it wasn't <coughs> and that kind of makes sense I guess um, but the markups export is right here so to do that we can import first we're gonna export so we'll go ahead and export out these markups and I'll just go ahead and save it to my desktop and we'll leave it the name it is and we can see it's a dot bx bax file and that's bluebeam annotations file so we'll go ahead and save that and then now what I'll do just so that we can have like a fresh document we'll just delete these so we can see here that we essentially you know for example we could say this is the this is a brand new document when we want to bring in those those old markups so do that, we can go here, markups, import, then we can find that that uh, import or that export we just did. So here's this one. And you may want to maybe um, uh, add a description to this, you know, what it was or, you know, or, or may, maybe leave it as a, the name of the document, but add a date or something, whatever, you know, helps you kind of identify what these are. I'm going to select on it and then open. And then we can see it brings in all our comments, all our markups on here so we can take a look at them um, and, and that's as easy as it gets um, that's all you have to do to import and export so I just wanted to show that because I got a headache you know trying to find that that uh, uh, option I knew it was there I just couldn't find it so um, hopefully this helps you let me know if you have any questions comments um, make sure to like share if you um, are subscribe um, if you want to see more of this uh, and thanks a lot for watching